I'm Jack the Greek, and welcome back again for another episode. As you can see in front of me, we have some beautiful potatoes, but more importantly, we have a beautiful rack of pork. Two and a half kilos of free range pork to cook on the Crossway barbecue today. It shouldn't take us too long, it's just over an hour to cook our beautiful pork with our roast potatoes. Now, Crossroad barbecue, we've had all four burners on high for around five minutes, and it's brought it up to 250 degrees. As you can see, I've already started putting a little bit of foil on the bone of the ribeye, and that will make sure that we don't make, that during the cooking of the hour, that it doesn't go too black and look unattractive. So let me show you how I do it. I've got a bit of foil. I just spin it around like that, and then just fold it over. And that will stay there for the entire cooking time. And again, just another one here to finish it off, just like that. We'll close it up. Now, with pork, Jack the Greek style, we grab a bit of butter, straight onto the onto the fat. And of course, thank you to our, our butcher at Preston Market. He has already scored it for us, as you can see. So we'll put on the butter, and this is what will produce the fantastic crackling towards the end. So we've got that there, and of course, plenty of salt. Just like that. Like that. That's it. On the crackling like that. And that's ready. That took us about five minutes to prepare. So let's put it straight in the crossroad barbecue. Straight on top, just like this. We're gonna leave it there for around about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. And just to remind you, all four burners on the Crossroad barbecue will stay on high for most of the cooking time, and then we'll, we'll drop it down for the last 15 or 20 minutes. That is a two and a half kilo piece of pork, just to remember for your length of cooking. Now, let's get into the potatoes. Again, we just grab our tray, throw our potatoes in just like this. And because we are going to be cooking the pork for about an hour, I've left the potatoes a little bit larger than normal. Oh, we've lost one. That doesn't matter. Let's grab some onions. And again, I cut the onions in half. Just like this. Beautiful. And I can see the smoke already. Smoking up the butter behind me. Let's have a bit of a look. Beautiful. Look at that. Hey, The butter, had, butter has now... Melted straight into the into the pork fat, and this is how the crackly and the salt start creating that hard, crispy outer layer. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, now let's finish off. Bit of olive oil, as Jack the Greek normally does. Opa, just like that in his potatoes. A bit of salt. Opa, put that there. Leave it there. And again. Straight in the crossroad barbecue, just like that. Coming close and let's have a look and see how it's going. Look at that, beautiful, excellent. I've put in my temperature gauge as well, just to make sure we get the right temperature inside. What we'll do now, you might have not noticed, but I have, on the edges, it's getting a bit dark and black and burning. So I'm gonna take it off for a second. Just like that. I'm going to put a little bit of foil just on the edges, just like this. And what that's going to do is make sure it doesn't go too black and burn for the next 25 to 30 minutes. Just like that. Oh, but that's cool enough to grab, just like that, and we'll put it straight back in. Oh, but there we go. Here we are at the final stages of our cooking for today. We've had the Crossroad barbecue on low for the last 25 minutes of our cooking. Come in close and have a look and see how it's all going. As I said earlier, I put the foil on the sides to make sure we don't burn it too much. And as you can see, it's now become nice and beautiful and golden. So let's bring it onto the chopping board and let's see how it's going. Oh, bass, look at that. Coming close, beautiful. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, let's leave that just here for a couple of minutes and we're gonna let that rest. Okay, we're just gonna cover our meat just like that to let it rest for a couple of minutes while we take out our potatoes. Look at these beautiful potatoes. Look at that. 
Look back. Beautiful. Cooked on the Crossway barbecue for about an hour. On the bottom grill, while we've been cooking our pork on the top grill. And we'll put it, our onions, just like this. When we're serving our pork, you can always, of course, use some apple sauce, cranberry sauce, or the traditional barbecue sauce that most kids would normally use, including mine. So we've got our onions, we've got our beautiful potatoes, just there, just like this. Opa. What another meal by Jack the Greek. Okay, that's enough there. Let's put that just there for now. Keep those potatoes warm, in case we need some extra ones. And let's come back to our beautiful pork. Look at that, just take these off. Opa. Look at that, you see? You can see even with the foil, if you're coming a little bit close, that still did blacken up a little bit, just there. So let's have a look. Look at this. Listen to the crackling. Opa. Now let's have a look. Let's slice it, just like that there. Beautiful. Look, as you can see, I've cut a three, about three slices, because what I'm gonna do is, when I plate it up, I'm gonna have three slices on the side, so it's easy to pick for the family, and the rest of it, leave it to the, in the middle there. We quickly gotta cut the back, where the, the bone is, just like that. And the last one, done. And we'll quickly just take those pieces out, just like this. A little bit more cutting on the bone, just like that. Look at that. Oh, bass, nice and pink. And pork, you don't want to overcook it. You want it to keep it nice and pink, just like that. Oh, bah, beautiful. And look at that. Coming close, have a look at that meat cooked all the way through. Pink. Beautiful meat, one hour on the Crossway barbecue, just like that. And once again, a beautiful meal on the Crossway barbecue in round about an hour, potatoes with pork. Opa.